We're back on Hammer Brothers, and we're playing Gremlins 2, the new batch, with Tony Randall. With Tony Randall. There he is, right there at the top, right before he got, like, intellectual Tony Randall. And then there's, like, super cool rad dude, uh, gremlin guy on the side there. Ah. So let's get started. Okay. Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. I don't remember Billy putting Gizmo in the lab. Hmm. Well, obviously, Sunsoft took a few uh, creative liberties with this one. Yeah, but this is from the, uh... From the team that brought you games like, uh, uh Blaster Master and Batman. The excellent Gremlins 2, the new batch. Now, neither of us have actually played this game very much. We've not gotten very far as Matt playing right now. And we're gonna see if Matt as Gizmo can traverse the giant open ah, gaps. Tomato. Ah! Oh. The giant open gaps in the floor and giant killer tomatoes of uh, Clamp Tower. <laughs> you know, you and me both. I don't remember the giant tomatoes either. Yes, I do. The well, tomatoes were in the lab. Oh, okay. But they didn't attack you. So there was, in fact, no attack of the killer tomatoes. Sleep <laughs> there was apparently an attack of the killer tomatoes NES game. Well, it's, you know, it's late for you, it's not late for me. Aha! Alright. Wait hey. a minute, isn't he dead? Uh... Well, he, did, he was dead, or they said he was dead in the sequel, didn't they? Yeah. He said they even gave him the little freaky eye. You see that? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> okay, so the, the heart bottle refills your heart, so the, the balloon takes you back to a place where you fall down the hole, and the, uh, the gizmo is an extra life, I believe. I believe so. Yeah, I, I think if you die, instead of starting you off at the beginning of the stage, it'll start you off right there. He was that, so he had his curio shop set up in Clam Tower, huh? But he's dead. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that was a light. That was a light bulb. Mm. Now, if there's any, if there's any series, we should be talking about Howie Mandel now, in, huh? Muppet Babies. Yeah, Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies, the NES game that didn't exist, but should exist. Come on! Hmm. There you go. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Uh -oh. Thoughts on, on Gremlins 2, the movie? Oh, I love the movie. I think that Gremlins 2 might be in the, uh, upper... Uh, there we go. All right. I think it might be in the upper pantheon of me, uh, of the list of movies where the sequel was better than the original. Wasn't Hulk Hogan in that game? Or movie? Hulk Hogan was in the movie, yeah. But you got, like, you know, Terminator 2... Gremlins 2. And Gremlins was actually a good movie. Oh yeah, not knocking anything on the first one. Although it's definitely they they definitely took a lot of the darker humor out of uh, out of the sequel. Boy. I guess still. Well, okay, I guess. Well, I mean there were there were some more stuff like you know, uh, uh, Clamp being ready to uh, uh, play the uh, uh, tape that the apocalypse was happening. You know. Um, but there, but there wasn't stuff like, you know, and that's why I don't believe in Santa Claus anymore, uh, like in the first one. No, no, oh, so got no, the there's, a, did work. there's a, there's another thing that happened during this one, remember? Uh, refresh me. Something why she didn't celebrate President's Day, but they never explained it. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, okay. 
I think it was Presents Day. I'm not sure, but it was like another. It was like a stupid holiday. Everyone. Oh, oh. So, so it was. It was pretty much a direct reference to uh, to the uh, the first film. Yeah. Mm, I gotcha. Like it knew it was stupid in the first one. Yeah, I, and that's I think what's really cool about uh, Gremlins 2 is that it is a movie that knows it didn't need to exist. You get the oh the light bulb. I know, I know. You get the spiders there. It's a movie that knows it didn't need to exist, so yeah. you can tell like they decided let's just go completely, totally that shit crazy on this one. Hence Tony Randall and Hulk Hogan and uh, uh, well, uh when we say Hulk Hogan, Monster. when we say Hulk Hogan, he didn't like do anything. Yeah, he was in, he was in like a, a you know two minute cameo, but whoa, whoa. Where he was in the theater watching for yeah, yeah. But the fact, yeah, but the fact remains, you know, there's stuff like uh -huh. the gremlin being flung out through the window and there's the Batman symbol, you know, real wacky stuff like that. I wonder if you get to see, like, the shopping mall and the TV studio and stuff like that in the game. Yeah, it's like you're, you're trying to concentrate on the more annoying enemies, like the spiders and stuff, and then the rats just kind of come around and just mess you up. Maybe it's his ghost. Maybe it's the old man's ghost that runs every shop. Well, that's why it disappears when you walk out of it. Ghost shop. Jeez, yeah, it doesn't help you now. Why didn't he charge his money? He needs the crystals to keep his ghost alive. Oh. Ghost crystals. Ghost crystals. Mm -hmm. That's like Ghost Dad. It's oh, it's exactly like Ghost Dad. Yeah. Is that just a different graphic on the bottom there, or what's? On the other side there. Like so it's like or something. Oh. Yeah. And these are supposed to be the hallways, right? Like the offices? Yeah. Who designed this? Clamp it. The, the, hey. the lay yeah, the layout of Clamp Tower is terrible. Did I say clamp it? Uh yeah, you did Jed Clamp it. Yeah. <laughs> No, the water, the water, the water. Yeah. Well, that's the, uh... Yeah, he had Spike and Dingus and I don't know, the other ones. Ding Dingus was probably one. We'll say Spike, Dingus, and Tony Randall. You know, those are good cutscenes for an NES game. Oh, yeah. Usually better than what you get in most NES Whoa, games. Oh, got better weapons. So that's a match, right? So you're just, you're throwing sparks, or... Sure. Which means at some point they're probably going to give you that, like, flaming pencil Randall crossbow. <laughs> Again, one of the more ridiculous Oh, that, was a, oh, that was a bomb. In fact, it told you it was a bomb. One of the more ridiculous moments of an already ridiculous movie. There's going to be a couple of paths to go this time. I'll go the way that doesn't get me killed. I guess we'll okay, right well... Now. Well, it didn't get you killed. It didn't move you forward, either. Ooh, nice. shop, and now's a good time to take a break. So, coming up on Hammer Brothers, we're going to see what... Does this guy have a name? I don't remember. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna see what uh, uh we're gonna buy from Feng Shui here. I was gonna say Beswick. Beswick? It's not like Princess Bride. That's Princess Bride. I mean, mine was offensive, but at least it was closer. Uh. So we're gonna talk to Feng Shui coming up.